Talking about not being lame. Talking about not being lame. Let's talk about one of my favorite places in the world. Bergheim. Bergheim have just released their August 2024 lineup and it's absolutely br bristling with some great people to go and check out. Great raves to go check out. So if you're in Berlin on August and you see the kid, make sure you wave because I will be there. If you see me in August in the big old, what do they call it? They call it BX or is it BR or is it BL? I don't know what the abbreviation of Berlin is. Whatever the abbreviation is, check out. I'll be there in that big space, stepping all over shit and stuff, gooning in the corner of fucking clubs, doing my best fucking TikTok techno shuffle. I will be there. But the lineup is pretty, pretty good. The first place, the first place I want to check out and I want to recommend has to be the Pan Night. Pan Nights are pretty special because I feel like they go out of their way to book artists at Panel Bar who probably would never play in Bergheim if it weren't for Pan. So I think it's important to go to a Pan Night because you'll probably hear stuff at Panel Bar you would probably never heard played there. Even though Panel Bar is probably the more freer of the two rooms, Bergheim main space is usually more techno you can know what to expect there but in panorama bar you're probably going to expect some house some ebm some disco some pop shit r&b hip-hop whatever you could probably expect that in that space so if you do go there i would actually recommend going to a pan night forget Bergheim, just to experience a different sort of sound in that space which you wouldn't hear anywhere else and the one person who i would point out as somebody that i would love to check out there if i went would be a person called bad sister Bad Sister plays, um, what's it called? Um, funk Caracao, Brazilian funk um, music, which has been all the rage here in London. People are absolutely loving it. So I recommend checking her out if you haven't already. I actually play a video where you can see what her style is like because she's fucking fire. So if you're going to Bergheim, I definitely recommend checking out Bad Sister. She's definitely one of the better DJs out there. And I would actually love to see that sound played on that system in that club at that time. That'd actually be a pleasure to go and check out. So definitely check out Bad Sister. <laughs> And the good thing about music like this, right, is that you rarely hear it when you're in Berlin anyway. You rarely hear this type of music in Berlin in the first place. So it's a pleasure. It's a real pleasure to hear that sort of sound in a place like Bergheim. Because people usually think of it being strict and very rigid about what can be played and can't be played there. And the punters can be a little bit entitled and demanding about what they want to hear you play. But I think those pan nights are great places to maybe mix it up and see things that you probably would never see in that sort of space. So definitely recommend checking out Bad Sister because she's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing people twerk in, in Panama? I don't think I've seen a single person twerk in Berlin. Obviously, there's not many black people there to twerk in the first place. But in general, could you imagine how sick it will be to be in Pano Bar and see people twerking? <laughs> that might actually be quite fun. So I recommend you check out uh, Bad Sister. She's fucking pucker. So Bad Sister's playing at the Pan Night on the 2nd of August. I recommend you check that out on the Friday. Um, obviously, DJ Maria, I'm a big fan of. Bestie Hara, I fucking love. She'll be there on the following day. Bergheim Main Room, you've got Paramita, who I'm also a big fan of. Uh, uh, Mas Milano Paraglaria is obviously playing there as well. Solar is playing there. Um, there's actually a night on the Thursday that's pretty good, a weirdo's night, that features Boys Noise, right? Boys Noise playing. Um, that should be pretty decent. And also James Newmarsh. If I'm not mistaken, that's the guy from Fold. He's one of the... 
managers there and also a resident. He plays with um, Voice Drone, one of the other founders there. So James Yuma just playing. That's a pretty big booking for him. I don't, I don't think he's, he DJs professionally. I think he mainly works, obviously, DJs part-time. But still, it's a good look um, for him to be there. I wonder if we're going to see Voice Drone playing in Bergheim soon. Maybe we'll see a fucking unfold night in Bergheim. Imagine that. Imagine there being an unfold night in Bergheim soon. That's pretty sick. So James Newmarsh playing London stand up. Big up him. And obviously that would be a good thing to check out on the Wednesday. Um, who else do I recommend here? Um, I would probably skip this particular night on the 10th, even though you've got Orgazon playing. Natalie Serres, I'm a big fan of. Annabelle Gaspar, I love. Actually, no, definitely do this the 10th. The 10th, you've got Quelza. You've got Wata um I Igarashi, the Japanese DJ, um, he's fucking sick. Um, obviously, you've got Blanca playing Beatrice. That's a very solid lineup, the 10th. That's a very, very solid one. But then again, on the following weekend, look what the, this is the one that I want to go to. This is the one that I want to go to because I want to go twice in that month. Look at this week. On this particular week on the 15th, you've got Boris playing all night long and in Seoul, which is the other room, which is kind of like the live venue type of thing. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do. I'm curious if it means if he's going to play behind the decks. Is he playing live? I don't know. But I think the Seoul room is usually the room where they have bands playing and shit and other performances but that should be pretty sick um and they've got some really cool seating areas and stuff to sit down in so that's th that's a good place to go to if you want to rave and you're an old person you want to sit down so boris who's like you know a quasi Bergheim resident and a bit of a legend for the type of stuff that he plays very n kind of eclectic taste levels loads of you know he might play synth pop he might play some ebm he might play some disco some house some hip-hop he's all over the place but he's really good he's fun and in the following night you've got a reef night featuring batu darwin uh Veraco, dj storm espacito i'm a big fan of then the following saturday don williams francois x jesse g polignana bloody hell steffi come on bro this is a big lineup man and zombies in miami Zombies in Miami are very underrated, I feel like, party DJ group. Um, they mostly play, I, I, I'd say it's mostly like indie dance, disco, new disco type of vibe, but they are sick. I've seen them once before, but they are really fucking good duo. It's like a man and a woman. They're fucking cool. So I'd rec I recommend you checking out Zombies in Miami if you're that way inclined. Um, what else do we have here? We have a key magazine one. This I probably wouldn't, would, I probably would avoid. Probably going to be a lot, too many TikTok ravers in this one. Had one, Tommy47, not for me, even though I, I don't mind those producers. I would skip that. And then the one I would go to actually of the all of these is the one on the 31st. So the two nights I probably will think about going, it's probably this week, the 15th to the 17th. And then of course, the 31st of August. The 31st of August, you got Baker playing live, um, answer code request, DJ Pete, one of the best DJs ever, personally, in my opinion. I've seen him play at fucking Paloma Bar alongside, um, what's his face? Um, the guy that does uh, Power Disco. I forgot his fucking name now, um, but apologies for you. But I saw him play there, absolutely incredible. Etap Kyle playing as well, that should be pretty fun. Um, because he's changed up his style as well. Nastia Regal, I'm not really sure who that is. Um, Alex Cassian, big up. Um, UK stand-up on that one, that should be good. Alinica playing, Arm playing, Gerd Janssen playing, like Rex the Dog in South. That should be a good one. This should be a real barnstormer. The 31st and the 15th, are, for me, are probably the best ones in terms of nights there. Or the 17th, sorry. 17th and the 31st, definitely the best ones for me to check out. So if you're that way inclined, check it out. But loads of good people playing. Um, I recommend you check out Bergheim's website to see all of the amazing DJs who will be playing in Bergheim in August. Amazing fucking lineup. But I'm definitely looking forward to the 15th, the 16th, and the 17th. And of course, the 31st. Barnstorming nights out barn storming nights out.